the launch prices of Sony's highly anticipated A95K series of QD OLED televisions have been leaked, one day ahead of the official announcement date of 12 of April 2022. I was googling for the model number of the 55-inch Sony A95K and saw a search result showing a price of £2,700 from established UK retailer JohnLewis.com. So I clicked through to the website, but couldn't find any sign of the price. It is likely that JohnLewis.com has taken it down before prices are meant to be announced on the 12th of April, tomorrow. So I went back to Google and looked at a cache of the webpage, and bingo! It is confirmed that the 55-inch Sony A95K QD OLED television will be launched at a price of £2,700 in the United Kingdom. Encouraged, I tried to repeat the same trick with the 65-inch version by searching for the model number on Google. I had less luck this time. When I clicked through to the product page on johnlewis.com, the page wasn't even available. Going back to Google and clicking on Google's cache for that particular page did not bring any joy either, with no sign of the price anywhere. However, if we click on Google's cache for a johnlewis.com page that lists both the 55-inch and 65-inch A95K, you can see that the larger QD OLED will retail at £3,500, and you can start pre-ordering these televisions from tomorrow the 12th of April. Now, the UK launch prices of £2,700 and £3,500 for the 55 and 65 inch models respectively match up with the previously leaked prices in the USA directly from Sony's own website, where the 55 inch A95K was supposed to launch at $3,000 and the larger 65 inch version at $4,000 before the Sony rewards points which gave a clue to the prices were removed. So it is definitely true indeed that the first generation of QD OLED televisions has turned out to be significantly less expensive than the initial estimation of US$8,000 bandied about by Korean media late last year. Which brings us to the topic of the Samsung S95B QD OLED TV which has gone on sale in the USA this week but hasn't even been listed for pre-order by any UK retailer. So I wonder if Samsung only has enough stock to sell in the North American market. If you are based in Europe, is the Samsung S95B QD OLED available for pre-order in your country? Let us know in the YouTube comment section below. Anyway, in the USA, the Samsung QD OLED is significantly cheaper than Sony's offering size for size, probably because Samsung has to price its QD OLED below the QN95B Neo QLED Mini LED TV, which is still designated as the South Korean brand's flagship. As a result, while the Sony A95K may have the upper hand in Dolby Vision support and the presence of an additional heat dissipation layer, most people will probably go for the Samsung S95B and save up to $1,000 in the process. That said, some video files who value Sony's picture accuracy and processing may still be willing to pay a premium for the A95K Master Series OLED, especially considering that its launch prices are not more expensive than what the A90J launched at last year. Of course, the A95K is using the newer QD OLED technology whereas last year's A90J is still based on WRGB OLED panel and Sony themselves actually put together a darkroom demonstration showing several advantages of QD OLED over WRGB OLED. Now, Sony did not allow anyone including myself to take photos or videos during the darkroom demonstration due to copyright reasons, but I have attempted to reconstruct it myself to show you what I saw, so go watch my coverage video here.